Watika. My name is Pat Pat Momo, and in this video I would like to discuss the difference between or the difference between badminton footwork and badminton movement. Um, first I'll uh, try to define what how I define footwork. Footwork, badminton footwork to me is a set of patterns that is easy to teach and easy to learn. Um, badminton movement or the actual feet movement that is used in badminton. And uh, just to go over badminton movement real quick, there are basically five to seven, it depends on who you talk to, uh, movements in badminton. And they are, starting with number one, is the split jump. Loading your muscle to move in any and all direction. It's just that simple hop right there. That's the first one. The second movement is what we call hopping. Hopping, if you see these two black lines on the ground, is this. Okay, this could be this way, or it could be this way, or it could be backwards. Okay, so that's hopping. Usually done after the split jump. So split jump, hop, split jump, hop. This way, right? Hopping. Uh, three would be the shuffle, or in British English, the chasse. Uh, shuffle is basically uh, this is my left foot. So left foot goes to right, right foot goes out, and the opposite. Right foot to left, left foot goes out. So it looks like this, right? Shuffling. Third one is called running. Um, running is basically one foot in front of the other or one foot in back of the others. So it looks like this. Run two or like this, right? Run, just crossing your feet. The uh, fifth one, commonly known as skipping. Skipping is like this, right? just hopping on one foot while the other one's up. We use that in badminton when we need to gain a little bit more distance. Say I'm going to the forehand corner, I cross my feet or shuffle, and then I do a little, okay, I do a little hop to get there. Okay, do this when we go from side to side. I'm a righty, so if I'm going to my left side, and I need to go a little further, I hop. Okay, that's skipping. And then of course there's the um, kip step. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced uh, step. The ones, the fives that you, the five movements that you should use more commonly is the, the split jump, the hop, the shuffle, running, and the skipping. Now, uh, having shown you what badminton movement is, I prefer to teach badminton movement instead of badminton footwork. And I know why people teach badminton footwork, because it's easy to do. There's a preset right and wrong way to do uh, badminton footwork. So um, usually new players will want to learn badminton footwork because it's a set pattern, it's easy to teach, easy to learn, you know if you're doing right or wrong. But having said that, it also traps you into a uh, set patterns of movement and those set patterns of movement are not particularly ergonomical for you or the, as you the player so somewhere along the line you have to switch from badminton footwork to badminton movement there has to be a paradigm shift um, in that you go away from patterns and you go towards movement and movement what determines what you do or how you move on the badminton court is the situation, meaning the, the situation on the court, 
what shot is hit, what shot you want to hit, um, and your physical state at the time. So if you're uh, tired, you might want to use a more uh, less energy movement, you know, instead of hopping or skipping, you might want to just walk, okay, and that's okay. That's what we learn in badminton movement versus badminton footwork, okay. Um, the situation will dictate what kind of movement you do. So, uh, I was going to read you something from, uh, from a book that I like, but uh, I think this is enough to to get things started uh, so when you're learning I guess my point in this video is when you're learning badminton footwork understand that it is a predetermined set of patterns that are easy to teach easy to learn but not um, something that you should adhere to for the rest of your badminton career Okay, you eventually have to evolve to understanding badminton movement. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you.